On this tour, we are here in Auckland now, and we're going to be tonight. We're going to be have a 35th anniversary celebration of Leatherman, and after Auckland, we're going to the South Island to Christchurch, and uh, have another celebration down there. And um, I think I'll be visiting a school where, where we have a we been this year. Our distributors has a design a Leatherman contest for the school kids, and um, I'll be presenting an award down there. And then we'll be flying to across the ditch to Australia. The origin story for the Leatherman tool is my wife and I took a budget trip to Europe about 43 years ago. And we uh, bought a used car in Amsterdam for $300. We stayed in cheap hotels and pensions. Yep. And I was carrying a pocket knife, but I often needed pliers to fix the car or the or the bad plumbing in the hotels in which we stayed. Yep. Well, the idea was, in essence, to add a pair of pliers to a pocket knife. Yep. When we returned, I asked my wife if I could work on this. Yep. She said yes, and went to work to support us. Mm -hmm. And eight years in the garage later, I was able to create the prototype that, uh, that uh, was and find a customer. And uh, that was the launch of Leatherman Tool. Group Incorporated. Originally, we were desperate to find any kind of a customer, and we were uh, we had two target audiences in mind at the beginning. One would be we thought a few. We heard that there were about 30,000 knife collectors in America. We thought a few of them might buy a Leatherman tool. Yeah. And we also heard that there were also about maybe 30,000. At that time, they called themselves uh, survivalists. And they were the people that lived in the backwoods and built bomb shelters, and, and, the, and they were going to survive if the Soviet Union dropped the big one, and the rest of us wouldn't. And we thought maybe they would uh, be interested in, in our tool. I think, first of all, we have 35 years of doing this, so we've learned a few things along the way that our competitors have not. I also think that our quality is like, like the posters say, my name is on every tool, so I want each one to be perfect. And that really is true. So we, we're fanatics on quality. We try to put the most functionality into our tool with the highest quality and the least space and the less weight. Those are the four criteria that we're, we're always balancing. A line of products coming out next year that we're quite excited about. It's been a while since other men has had anything new, so um, we're happy to do it, and I'm sure our, our fans are happy to have something new too. And way in the future, of course, we time, life is going to change, technologies are going to change, and I want to make sure that the features in a Leatherman tool are always relevant for the lifestyle that will then be lived. Outside of work, and of course, there's family. I'm, uh, a first time grandfather about three months ago, so I, that's going to be a bit of a change to my life. I also enjoy the outdoors, enjoy fishing, I like fly fishing. I too am a hunter. I uh, shot a deer, and uh, but my favorite hunting was when, in, we, in Oregon, in the eastern side of Oregon, we have a bird called a chucker. They live on the canyons, and you have to go almost straight up and down to find them and I enjoy chasing after those chuckers. For you fishermen tight lines, for you hunters, good luck. <laughs>